Welcome to your Daily Revolution Podcast. Today's topic, why you must buy back your time. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Let's go. This is your Daily Revolution. Live in prosperity, we show you how to do it. There's no luck about it, we got the strategic blue. My friends, what's up? Welcome to the podcast today. I am grateful that you are here. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. If this makes a difference for you, Share it on. Go leave me a review on iTunes or whatever platform you're listening to. Tag me. Uh, take a screenshot and tag me on social media. Thank you so much. Now, this concept of Buy Back Your Time. Phenomenal book. Uh, it's called Buy Back Your Time by Dan Martell. Author sends me the book in the mail. I never would have bought this book. I just wouldn't have known, but he had the courage to ask me for my address. And he sends me the book. And it's become the book that I read and study from. I've got three books right now that I'm reading listening to. His is one of them. It's powerful. It talks about this concept of, and I'll just, I'll keep it simple. You got to go buy the book, right? He says, if you're going to grow your business, you have to learn how to buy back your time. You do not hire people to grow your business, right? And if you're a business owner, entrepreneur, if you're someone who's going to scale and grow your business, let me get me help you understand this. You do not hire people to grow the business. Key distinction. You hire people to buy back your time. What does this mean? You know, a lot of entrepreneurs come into the business world and they're like, okay, I want to grow my business. I want to get better. Um, okay. And I'm going to go hire people. Okay. I'm going to hire people so I can replace myself. And the problem is, is they hire people to try to replace themselves and they end up hiring people, growing the business, but they never get their time back. This was me. I, I did this in my business for many years. I kept hiring people and yet I, would, I was still heavily involved with day to day. Now, key distinction here. In our, in our world, right, in our model, we have this model called right, the Freedom Protocol. It's where someone goes from a consumer to a producer, producer to an owner, owner to a creator, and a creator to what we call a game changer. Now, what, what, what does this mean? You see, I am a business owner, but if I am an entrepreneur, solopreneur, and there's no other team members, I am not a business owner. I'm a solopreneur who has a job and that I'm handcuffed to my job. A lot of business owners, quote, business owners don't get this. Like I run a business. Well, how big is your team? They're like, there's no one. It's just me. So let me get this straight. You have a business, but you can't leave because your business only makes money when you work. That's not a business. And I really got this concept, right? A consumer, and you know, we have these terms, uh, terminology, a consumer, what we call consumer, gives up the dream for security, <clears throat> right? And they trade their time for money, right? So consumers like an employee, nothing wrong with it. Guys, there's nothing wrong. I hope you get this. The world needs more employees than it does business owners. That's just how it works. But if you feel called to be an entrepreneur or a business owner, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't feel called to take the risk, to take these leaps, to, to jump out of the plane with no parachute and you got to put the parachute together before you land, that's what entrepreneurs do. So a consumer is going to trade the dream for security and a paycheck and a 401k. Not a problem. They're also going to give up, <clears throat> trade their time for money, right? They, whether it's $10 an hour, $20 an hour, even $100 an hour, they're trading time for money. And then they basically consume what they create. They, have, they go and produce value in the marketplace or they consume more than they produce. So if a, a person's making $150,000 a year, that's kind of what they spend. Not all, but they're not creating more than what they make. Right? A producer is someone who trades their money or their time for a lot of money. A lot of money. These are your brokers, your agents, high commission, high transaction, high income. And they they give up or they give up the security for the dream. They trade their time for lots of money and they actually create more than they consume. Now here, here's this leap. This is what happens. When people try to go from being a producer to an owner, right? An owner owns businesses. I always ask this question. How many of you can leave your quote business? How many of you can leave your business and your business will still make money? And you can make money for the next two to three, four, five, six months if you're not in the business. 
all the hands come down. They can't do it. So they, therefore, they really don't have a business. They have a high paying job. Now, even if you can do that, sometimes you're still a high paid employee in your job. You're not even a business owner. And this is why you have to learn how to buy back your time. The way you buy back your time is, again, there's a lot of models. I don't want to go into too much depth on this, but to keep it simple, there is a rate at which you can hire people to buy back your time. Like I, I have a, a gal by the name of Nikki Cobble, Jim Lynn Ridnow. Like we've got Tyler Faltis, we've got Nick Nielsen, we got David Burke. Right, and then we got our virtual assistants, VAs, and then we have like our leadership team, our, our ownership. And then we've got nine coaches who coach for us. So we have a pretty big organization squad. The reason I have them is not to grow the business. The reason I have them is so I, Satema, can get my time and my energy back. When I get my time and energy back, what ends up happening is I then go work on the tasks and the high level necessary required actions or what we call high value targets. It increases my energy. It like, it fills me up and it drives big revenue and big money. That's why I get my time back. I don't buy my time back to go sit on the beach. I buy my time back by hiring the right people, the right people in the right seats headed them on the bus. Jim Collins, good to great book reference. So I can get my time and energy back to work on the things that matter most. So you got to buy your time back. So a couple examples of right, buying your time back. My assistant, or she's our director of communications, and she's like my personal admin assistant. She is, I did a couple podcasts on her called The Cobble Effect. She handles my emails, she's my gatekeeper, and she handles my schedule. And when that comes to me, I'm like, Nikki at Satemangali.com. Right? She's the gatekeeper. She's the scheduler. Like she protects my time and energy. Why? Because $10 million, $20 million organizations are not built on $10 an hour tasks. If I'm checking my email, if I'm doing things that she could do or another member could do, I'm wasting my time. I'm not doing what's best for the business. If I then can delegate right, and, and move those off of my plate and work on the things that matter most to me as a business owner, my energy goes up, I make more money, and as I make more money and energy goes up, I continue to assign or delegate or automate the things that I don't need to do. I don't wash my truck. I don't clean my office. I don't clean my house. I mean, I, I help out a little bit, but I have people do that for me. I don't check my emails. I'm slowly moving off of social media. Why? Because I'm buying my time and energy back. Again, you have to start to think like a business owner. Here's my question for you. Do you think like a business owner? Or are you a producer? Nothing wrong with being a producer. Nothing wrong with being a business owner. And there's nothing wrong with being a consumer. It just comes down to the question, what do you want? If you want security, then you stay in the consumer area, right? You trade the dream for security, you trade your time for money, and you basically consume what you create or produce. As a producer, you now, you give up security for the dream. You trade your time for a lot of money, and now you're creating more value than you consume. As you make the jump from producer to owner, there's two things you have to do. You, you got to build teams, you got to build systems. Inside of your teams, you have to make sure that your first hire ought to be your admin. That admin's got to protect your time. You got to be able to offload things to her. Any ten dollar, twenty dollar, thirty an hour tasks, her and or him. Maybe, maybe some of you have a dude who's an admin assistant. And then you got to build systems. Systems are just automatic things where people can come in and like, hey, this gets done, this gets done. Like my podcast is one of those systems. One, I got one of our guys on our team. His name is Ian. He helps us with that. So again, as I build out my team and our infrastructure, why? Because what I want, ready, is freedom. Satema wants freedom. This is why we call it the Freedom Protocol powered by the Prosperity Revolution. Like over the last 10 years, we have proven the curriculum and the content, right? Coupled with coaching, powerful coaching. This is why we have our nine coaches, men and women who own businesses. 
we've been testing this for so long. How can we launch someone and help someone to go from a consumer to a producer? You, you become a high level producer and then all of a sudden you have to make the jump from producer to owner. Well, if you don't make that jump, if you don't get the teams and the systems, you don't buy your time back, you will be stuck in producer hell. It's a trap, it's a big trap. Make lots of money, got some cool boats and cars and vacations, but if you ain't working, you ain't making money. Now there's a whole nother piece of this that I could talk about, but for now I just want you to, to, to consider this concept. What would it take for you to buy your time back? What do you need to do to buy your time back? One of the best ways to buy your time back is just do an audit. Dan Martell, again, give him props for this. He says, look, over two weeks, a two week period, audit your time. Every 15 minutes, write down what you do. You're gonna take a green mark and a red mark. You're gonna start to highlight everything and be like, ooh, this is, and you're gonna start to say, what is this worth? My email and doing social media for me, it's not like, uh, I should not be doing it. So, so we offload it to the team. There's things that I should not be doing. I offload it to the team. And the things that I am best at, I continue to do. If you'll actually do this, and then you can figure out how to hire the, the right people to get your time and energy back. When you get time and energy back, you don't you go focus. You don't go sit on a, a chair and sit my ties. You actually focus on the activities and the necessary required actions to continue to build the business, to grow, to, to do the things that work. And as you make more money and get more energy and more fulfillment, you continue to buy more time back. This is how you actually grow. All right, my friends, that's just this, uh, that's a lot that we covered in here. But if you're a business owner or entrepreneur, highly recommend check out Dan Martell's book called Buy My Time or Buy Your Time Back. And then if you get this, like in one week, we've got Game Changer. We've got a few seats left, Game Changer. And we're going to talk about these in depth for business owners, entrepreneurs, people who want to live a life that is fulfilling, people who actually feel stuck and want to get out of that stuck and they want to go chase the ambition, the aspirations. They, they feel called to lead and to do more. Gamechanger4.com, check that out. Thank you for listening to this podcast. I appreciate y'all so much. As I shoot this in Utah uh, while I am on a quick business trip out here. All right, my friends, until next time, I'm out.